with a super fun and easy way to elevate our flowers at home with textured vases is yeah. early. This is such a cute idea. Isn't this fun? Yeah. I'm obsessed with the fact that it comes together with hot glue because we're able to create all these really cool different patterns. That's actually the Winterfest logo, like the real text that we oh use here goodness. at Hallmark, so I love that. And then I did snowflakes. Uh, you can see even right here, this, this purple one was sort of that cable knit sweater design, which is really reminiscent of kind of winter time. Sure. So any design that you want to create, you can with hot glue. I cannot believe it's just with hot glue. I know, it's so Literally, cool. we need vases, hot glue, what else? Vases, hot glue, the spray paint of your choice. Okay. Um, I would, if you if you have an X-Acto knife, it's helpful to kind of clean it up right. um, after you've done it. But otherwise, you just want to create your design. So you can see... Uh, here, I printed out a snowflake so that I was guaranteed to not have to have any kind of creative uh, skill. But if you want, you can draw it like I did on this Free one over hand. here for the cable knit. I just drew it. So whether you want to print or draw, it's totally up to you. And that's it. And I know that you prefer square vases over round ones. Yes. Why? That is mainly because if you look at like this, for example, as I'm doing it, oh. and it's hard, you can't really rest your hand right. on here. So if you're not, if you don't have the steadiest hand, this is easy because this lays flat and it gives a flat surface for our glue okay. to dry. All right, so you would put your stencil or whatever on the inside. Exactly. And then just go glue to Glue over the outside, yeah. Let's see. So what you want to do is, the, the cool thing is that if you need to, let me use two hands here. So I'm going to go. You want to wait while it's still wet and continue the line. Okay. So if that's like a full pump, you can see like I'm fully pressing it down. I want to wait and then keep going while it's wet. So you want to start with all of your biggest pieces first, and then you're going to go back into all the little like V's and the details. Oh, interesting. So okay. you would create like this, and you can see, oops, okay, I'm going to actually leave that. So what I did right here, and I'm going to let it dry to show you, you can see a little mess up right there. Okay. Um, I'm going to let it dry. The amazing thing about this is once it dries, I can peel it right off. And then so, so see that like squirrely line right there? So yeah, don't I can peel it. it off. So leave it. Very forgiving. Leave it, move on to the next section, peel it off, and then fix that little line. As I'm watching you do this, yeah. I'm thinking... You could do this with puffy paint too, couldn't you? Okay, so this is what I would say. That's actually a great thought. You could do it with puffy paint. There's two reasons why I would recommend hot glue over puffy paint. One is simple cost. Okay. Puffy paint is kind of expensive, okay. and you want to be able to be free to really do this and not worry that, you know, if you mess it up, it's like costing you so much because each little bottle is so expensive. All right. Plus, because hot glue dries so fast, this whole thing can come together quickly. Number one, if you mess up, peel it off, go again in 20 right. seconds. You can also spray paint it as soon as it's dry, where puffy paint, you've got to wait like eight hours until oh, it dries. You do? Okay. It just I takes forever. So okay. you can create the 3D effect, but hot glue is such a, a more affordable option okay. that I would recommend that. All right, so we have our our snowflake over here yeah. drying. So I'm gonna let it dry. the pattern, then yeah. what's the next So step? once you have the pattern, this is when I would spray paint it. Now, if you look over here, you can see the snowflake that I did. I spray painted the entire thing blue, and then I went in and just edged all of the ridges. So it's very easy to edge it because it sits away from the vase. Oh, wow. So it gives us like a natural ridge. You don't have to have a perfect steady hand. If you want, though, you can just spray paint it all one color and allow the detail, which is really chic, just to keep the 3D Beautiful. texture of it all in the same color. Right. So at this point is when you want to do spray paint. Personally, I love the matte spray paint, like okay. the flat. I think it looks really, really nice. I want to show you something here. This is one that I was practicing on. Okay. And I learned a lesson on the first one. I did my my um, snowflake, and then I thought maybe I would do like icicles, and I thought to add like a little snow ridge. If you let one part of the hot glue dry and then try to add a detail, you're gonna see that line. Oh, Even no. though when it's clear, it looks like it's all perfect, you need to make sure that you do it when it's wet in order for it to look seamless. So do it all at once then. Just all like at you once. were saying here, make sure you get all the big things first. Exactly, okay, right. exactly. So you really wanna make sure that all those lines connect while it's wet and it will look like one clean line even if it's multiple pumps of your hot glue gun okay. but if you let this dry and then go back in it's going to be layered it's going to be one on top of the other and so which if you want that effect that's actually a cool thing to know if you want to have like perspective what's sure. on top of, of the other you can do that but if you want it all to look seamless don't do that now, uh, for the edging detail, I'm gonna take a little bit of spray paint, and my only real reason for recommending spray paint is that if you're doing multiple colors, you'll end up with the exact same tone. So like, right. I wanted to tie in the lavender from this into my Winterfest one. It ties in perfectly because I used the spray paint, sure. whereas if I tried to find like a lavender match, it might yeah. not. So I'm gonna dip my uh, pen, I mean my paintbrush, and I'm just gonna go on an angle and just tap. 
And it's because like, it's raised, it's only really getting the raised elements Ooh, because like it sits up. I like that you're doing the opposite. That one's blue with the white, and right. this one's white with the blue. Yeah, you could do metallics. I mean, you could do anything. Oh, sure. But then you just add this little detail, and again, this is totally up to you, your own personal style this if you love really it. This is cute, Orly. Isn't it cool? And I love the fact that, by the way, because this is hot glue, and like you said, if you mess up, you can come yeah. back over here and peel it off and start over. Yeah, that like, you literally could peel all your vases and start over for every season. A hundred something different for every holiday. Absolutely, that's the thing that I Look, think is, yeah. So I just that. peeled this off so that now I can go ahead and fix that little section for myself, which is really great. And here, if I wanted to, I could just go in <gasps> oh and my peel gosh, it off. Oh my gosh, is that easy? Yeah, it's Whoa. really, and actually, I mean, a whole separate DIY is kind of cool like that. If you like paint block. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Just oh, as I'm looking right. at it, you could do this as a paint block. Put something on there, write a word, and write happy Valentine's Day, and then pull it off. Exactly. Yeah. Look at that. So absolutely, any holiday, you can go ahead and peel it off because you can always repaint. So I could add a new design, spray paint the whole thing, and then you've you've gotten a whole new something for the next holiday that's coming that up. That is really cool. Yeah, really. it's really Thank fun, you right? So much, so much Thank fun. You. That was awesome. For full instructions, all you have to do is go to hallmarkchannel.com and stick